Hey guys, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program Showcase. We're going to be continuing our uh, military showcase uh, sort of series. Now this is the AV-40 Duck HE, if I'm not mistaken, the amphibious sort of tank, or you can say amphibious, well yeah, sort of amphibious vehicle we do this time have. This is, I think, the second version. This comes, of course, with its own little... Uh, single fire cannon shot and uh, it's pretty cool actually online it goes around 20 meters per second so let's just speed this up a bit and uh, the, the one disadvantage with this is it actually has a very good tendency to flip over because the maneuverability is really really good so if you do turn to the right or left it does flip over but uh, the cool thing on the other hand is that you can pretty much drive into the water with uh, no problems whatsoever, so that's uh, really nice. Let's uh, just uh, move on the actual ground. I don't want to damage those tires because if you have seen my previous videos, these tires are very sensitive in terms of being damaged. I don't know if I mentioned it, of course, uh, this is a uh, Another wonderful design designed by uh, Zeke or Zeke, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's just get to the water's edge as quickly as possible. Let's slow down. As if you go very fast, you do end up damaging. I don't want to damage any anything. If I don't have to, you see the turning is really great. It's uh, very, very uh, controllable, maneuverable. Also, the cool thing is it actually has two ports on the side. So you can refuel it now really, really properly. And you have a port on the top in case you do want to attach something as well to the top side when we do hopefully have a crane and the later uh, updates we could maybe attach something to the top side of the actual vehicle itself and uh, that's pretty much it let's test it out on the water here we go let's crank up the power and off we go Off we go. Now I'm not really sure exactly how the maneuverability of this is supposed to be. As oh, there we go. Actually, it's it's not bad maneuverability-wise in the water. And uh, let's get the power. Let's cut the power. Okay, let's fire up our rockets. Can we switch? Yeah, we can. Hold on, let's get back in. Where the hell did our thing go? Oh, we bugged out. Damn it. Oh no, let's go to the space center. Maybe we can get out of it going this way. Nope. We bugged out. See you guys in a sec. And back we are. So now let's uh, shoot off our rockets. So we gotta load them up, I believe, from the staging and then we fire them. Load. Fire. Nice. Let's see where they end up going. Oh my god, can we move them? No. 
That is so close. I didn't expect it to get so close. Nice. Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Can we go back? Cannot switch vessels while in atmosphere. That's pretty funny. Okay. Let's go to Space Center. Back to our tracking. That was pretty cool. So it's pretty long. Uh, I did test it last time. I think I managed to shoot like two and a half kilometers. So you do get one one shot, two and a half kilometers. Of course, you do have uh, nice lighting in the front as well. And uh, really cool stuff. So let's uh, continue. Now let's see how fast we can get this thing going in the water. Actually, before we do that... Cannot save it while what? There we go. Quick saving. There we go. Let's see how fast it goes over the water. So over the land we know it goes around 20-21 meters per second now over the water. We shall see how fast it goes. 2.5.56 6 .5 .6. let's crank it up a bit more and the new design I noticed it's uh, very nice in terms of Zeke's design the older design had the engines much lower so we did raise the engines really nice to see that of course so that's pretty cool and of course you do have ladders here as well and this extends so in case you do want to go down and uh, we'll extend the antennas now as well so that's pretty cool so there you go so you can get that down as well and you can get all the way down with the actual antennas so that's really nice we're going at 8.8 8.9 let's crank it up a bit more let's see how fast we can go on this thing i think he might have made it even sturdier from the looks of but from the looks of it i'm not quite sure but we do have a lot of struts, so it is probably a little bit sturdier than before. We're going 9.10 meters per second. Let's crank it up a bit more. I think that's about it. We are going to shatter. No, I'm going to have to slow down. So, I think our top speed for this is going to be, let's say, 8 meters, 9 meters per second once we do get 7.4. Let's see when it starts to destabilize. 9 meters per second, maybe. Nine point four. Nine point seven. Nine point eight. Nine point nine. There we go. Yeah, ten. Ten meters per second is its limit. Anyways, let's just shatter it. Let's just see how fast this thing when it shatters apart. That'll be pretty funny. Wow, it actually doesn't. Still going. He really made it sturdier, didn't he? So we're going at 15 meters per second. I didn't expect it to survive. This is pretty cool. So 16 meters, 16.5 meters per second. It's, it's pretty nice to see that it nearly actually... E it's it's nearly equivalent to the speed on land, so that's really nice, much sturdier. The older version, of course, did shatter apart, so really nice work on uh, Zeke's side in terms of keeping this amphibious uh, machine and being able to, to stay in one piece, so really, really lovely piece of engineering. So let's see if we can go at full throttle towards the ground. I don't think so, but let's see if, if, it'll, if, it'll, if it'll be doable, it'll be pretty fine. Nope, we did manage to kill off our back wheels, but that's, of course, due to the excess speed. We're going at 50 meters per second, so... Well, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, do our classical destruction. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys in another showcase. Take care. Bye.